Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk doing another Python tutorial. You can see that last lesson we created a little uh, program that can evaluate whether someone's age is bigger or smaller than a certain number and print out a statement. Okay, so last lesson we said if age is bigger than 18, say you're an adult, otherwise say you're a child. Okay, and this doesn't need to be in brackets. I'm not sure why I did that. Let's just check it's still working. Yep. So now what I want is for the user to type in their age. Okay, and to do that, you will need to use the input function. So you're going to say input. And you're going to say what appears on the screen when you want the user to type in something. So I'm going to say what is your age? or enter your age, or something like that. Um, enter your age. Okay, so run it, enter your age. Now it's asking you to type in something. So now I'm gonna type in a number. And guess what, it's not gonna work and you'll see why very soon. So if I press enter, it says you're an adult. What's going on? Okay, because according to this, age 10, um, age 10 should say um, you're a child. So why just say you're an adult? Because it's confused. Python is confused because when you get input from a user, it doesn't know whether it's a number or not. It doesn't know whether it's a number. It thinks it's text. So when you're asking is it bigger than 18, it's got text is 10. Comparing it to a number, it's just getting confused. Okay, so you can't um, you can't just do this. So what you need to do is you need to put in a function that converts this input into a number. So I'm gonna go age again. I'm gonna do something to the variable age. I'm gonna make it float bracket age. So what this means is I get the input from the user which is now a string variable, and I convert it to a floating point variable, okay, which is just another word for a number with numbers after the decimal point. Once I've done this, then it's going to work. See, if I run this, enter your age, I'm gonna put in 10, it says you're a child, I'm gonna run again, enter your age, 23, oops, Press here first, click here first, 23, it says you're an adult. So this extra line is needed because it converts the string variable into a numerical variable or a floating point number. And then you can use it, use the if statement to compare the variable with numbers. And now it compares it with 18 and it prints this out. So that's how you convert uh, between um, a, a string variable and a floating point variable. Instead of doing this to make it a bit shorter, you can also put float here. Okay, so that will still work. So enter your age, let's put in uh, 30, says you're an adult, enter your age, one, oops. Ooh, into your age one, it says you're a child. Now, one further thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it um, so that it prints out your age as well. So I'm gonna say, um, you're an adult who is, and I'm gonna put in plus age. Okay, so what does this do? So if I go play, you're an adult, so I'll go 35, you're an adult who was 35. So it's taking the string and it's put it here. Now this will only work for a string variable. So notice if I put float here, it's not gonna work because numbers, 
So let's just put in age is 30. This is now um, coming up with an error. Okay, it's coming up with an error. And you can see the error message down here. String and float cannot be concatenate or joined. This word just means join. String and float cannot join. So that's why you can't have float there because it needs to be a string. Okay, so enter your age 50. You're an adult who's 50 who is plus age. So if I run this, enter your age 3. You're a child who is 3. Okay, so that's the end of our uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.